My name is Oksana Lastovetsky and I'm doing a, an architecture course in DIT Bolton Street. It's DT 101 and it's a Bachelor Honours degree. As well as applying through the CAO, you would have to um, prepare a portfolio and you would have to sit a suitability test, which both happen in, in around May. So um, the portfolio is... I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know what to put in the portfolio. So let's say if you, if you do art in school, bring in any drawings, that, any paintings that you did and photographs of buildings you like and maybe where you travel to and they'll just show that you're an interesting person, that you're interested in things and maybe buildings and if you have a type of architecture you like or enjoy it. For example, if you if you know Gaudi, which is an old architect <laughs> from, from Barcelona, um, if, if you know an architect or two, that would be, that would be a really good plus. Um, also in May, you would have to do a sort of suitability test, maybe pictograms and just sort of complete the line, but you can't particularly study for it, so just do your best and see if, it, if it's for you, you will probably most likely get it. In first year, at the beginning, you will be asked to do some drawings, to so do some freehand drawings, just to give you an idea of what perspective is and what shadowing is like. And you're taught how to hardline, which is how to draw architectural drawings, plan sections. You get introduced to a lot of uh, modules such as uh, building technology, environmental design, which is a new thing. You get to learn the history and theory of architecture. You do. You do assignments, research. Research is a big is a big deal in first year, and you're taught how to present, how to do a good presentation, and most of all, how to design. So by the end of first year, you do get get the, the basics of it. You know what the terms are, architectural terms, let's say of drawings, and uh, you know how to present. And you're just beginning to get into computer applications, which is how to produce architecture drawings. Another aspect of um, of architecture school is the, the relationship that you develop in your class, which is, which is really close compared to other courses, I, th I feel, because you do, you do work in studio all the time. Design studio is the main part of architecture, and uh, you work together and uh, you get to interact with your lecturers as well and your students. Our lecturers are all uh, professional architects, so it's good to have such expertise on hand and we can, we can draw on their, on, on their professional experiences as well. You get to go on, um, on an annual trip abroad each year and you go generally to, an, um, to a European country or maybe a few if you're lucky, <laughs> like we did, we went to Italy and we visited um, five cities in, in five days. It's, it's educational but it's also lots of fun, it, it, um, there's really good spirit in, in the class through architecture school. Later on in, um, through your second, third year and getting into your fifth year you do get more professional, especially in third year. It's almost like um, the year where you realize you can do architecture. <laughs> the year out after third year is, um, is, is a really good thing. You're encouraged to take it, and about 80% of people take it. It's, uh, it gives you an opportunity to, to gain some valuable professional experience, maybe do an internship, work on a few projects, maybe a lot of people go abroad to work. Um, it's, it's encouraged, it's not essential. You can go on to fourth year if you'd like. Another advantage of, of this course is that, compared to maybe other architecture courses, is that you really do get to interact with the trades. And we do get experience, first-hand experience, let's say in bricklaying, in welding, and woodworking. Like this year, we got um, for our building technology, we got, to work with, we got to work with lamps and with wood. Later on in life, um, after I graduate, I, I, wa I want to work in a, in a firm for a few years and then I want to maybe open my firm in, whenever in, in years to come, maybe work abroad, come back to Ireland or work here. Um, DIT is internationally recognised, the DIT qualification is internationally recognised, so I'm not afraid of not getting a job. Architecture is, is, is challenging, but it's, it's really good in that you, don't, you come out not only, not only knowing how to design good architecture, but it also teaches you problem solving and thinking outside the box. So it's, it takes up a lot of your time, but it's time that you enjoy spending. It's, a, it's very rewarding. It's just very rewarding.